Thank you for joining us on Munchkin's Reading Corner. Please hit that subscribe button so you never miss another reading adventure. Today we'll be reading You Go First by Mercer Mayer. If you have this book, go and grab it so you can follow along. Today I helped Dad put up a new swing in our backyard. I really wanted to be the first to try it, but little sister got to go first instead. It's not fair. Mom made smiley face pancakes for breakfast and I helped. I wanted to have the first pancake, but Mom told me to give it to my baby brother because he's the littlest. I never get to be first. I wanted to be the first on the school bus. I didn't mean to bump into Gabby. It was just an accident, but I did get to go first. At snack, I thought Tiger might beat me to it, but I got the first milk. Hooray! And at recess, I was first on the trampoline, even though Gator might have been there one teensy second before me. When it was time for show and tell, I jumped up instead of raising my hand. Me first, please, Miss Kitty, I said. I was so excited, I kind of dropped my show and tell. It took a while to get the ants to go back into their farm. There was no more time for anyone else to do their show and tell. Oops. Miss Kitty made a special announcement when school was over. She said there was going to be a class picnic with games and races and everything. I hope I come in first and I win a prize, I said. Little Critter, having fun isn't about being first, said Miss Kitty. It's about enjoying time with your friends and family and appreciating them just as you like them to appreciate you. God tells us in the Bible that we should treat others the way we want to be treated. Sometimes that means letting them go first. That shows you care, and caring is the secret to getting along. After school, we went to Tiger's house to scooter up these new ramps his dad built. I call first, I said, but Gator said Tiger should go first because it was his house. You know what, little critter, said Gabby? You were more fun when you didn't always have to be first. When it was my turn, you know what happened? I wiped out. I bet I wouldn't have wiped out if I went first. At the picnic, Gator was my partner in the three-legged race. We have to come in first, I said. Remember, this race is about working together, said Miss Kitty. On your marks, get set, go. I hopped away faster than Gator, and before I knew it, we both fell down. Gator said it was because we weren't working together. I said it was because he was, wasn't hopping fast enough. Next was the egg and spoon relay. I got to go first. Hooray! But I ran so fast the egg kind of fell off the spoon, so the other team won. Then it was time to eat. Who wants the first hot dog? asked Miss Kitty. Me, 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 I said. All you care about is being first, said Gator. You're not being a good friend. Gator was wrong. I was so a good friend. I just like to go first. For the scavenger hunt, we had to find a stick, a rock, and an acorn. Sticks and rocks were easy to find, but nobody could find an acorn. While everyone else talked with their teams, I spotted a bunch of trees that I bet had acorns. I ran fast so I could get there first. It was dark in the woods and very quiet. Suddenly, I heard something. It was a snake. I was so scared I couldn't move. I really, really wish somebody else could go first. But I was all by myself because I'd run away from everyone just so I could be first. Gator was right. I wasn't a good friend at all. The snake hissed. Ah! I ran as fast as I could. When I got back to the picnic, I was so happy to see my friends. I didn't care if I ever went first again. I thought about what Miss Kitty said about how we should treat others. I wanted to show my friends I cared by treating them the way that I would want to be treated. Gator won the scavenger hunt, and I cheered really loud. When it was time to get on the bus, I said, you go first, so Gabby went first. At school, even though I was first at the slide, I said to Timothy, you go first. He gave me a big smile. 
And when we lined up to go in from recess, I said to Gator, you go first. Even though I was a line leader, Gator smiled. You go first, I said to Henrietta at the water fountain. At home, little sister and I both wanted to go on the swing. I said, you go first, and I even pushed her. Every time I say to someone, you go first, you know what happens? They smile, and that makes me feel really good. It's the way I show my friends and family I care about them, just like the Bible says, and that is truly is the secret to getting along. Thank you for reading You Go First with us today on Mushka's Greening Corner. We'll see you next time for the next reading adventure. And remember, it's never too early to start reading. See you soon.